My dad was impressed with Seattle Pacific and that's where he wanted me to go. It took me probably the better part of my freshman year to realize what a gift he had given me. It just gave me a lot more opportunity to do stuff. A lot of different kinds of things, from leadership to music, journalism. My father had grown up in this community, and so uh, some of the faculty at that time helped nurture my interest in science. It seemed natural to continue my, my education here. I graduated uh, from, with a BS in physics in uh, 1970, and I was offered admissions at Stanford. I, again, applied to various schools, and Stanford accepted me. I studied physics. I also discovered that they had good classes in um, electrical engineering, so I earned both a uh, master's degree in electrical engineering at Stanford as well as a PhD in physics. Once I got down there, it was like the Holy Spirit rested on me and said, I just had an overwhelming peace in my heart, and I knew that was where I was going to go. I got a Master's of Arts of Teaching. All I had to do was complete nine months of coursework. Nine months was all I needed to have, to have that degree secured and to meet Phil. <laughs> I found out that there was a postdoc position available at, at uh, Yale, it somewhat switched fields, had the opportunity to um, come back to Washington State uh, and, and teach at Washington State University, which is where I've been for my career. I taught fourth graders for five years, sixth grade for one. I taught seventh grade for about 13 years, taught sophomores, juniors, seniors. The real reward uh, has been in uh, working with um, students. Many of them have gone on to um, have very successful careers. It's been blessing upon blessing. I, d I just can't even describe how fulfilling that is.